Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to show you guys Google's official Android emulator for Windows PC. By now, I think almost everybody knows about this. This is called Google Play Games for PC. Using this, you can play Android games on a PC officially. It's a software made by Google. Now we have this called Google Play Games on PC emulator. This thing is actually meant for developers, but guess what? Anyone can use it. And this thing is actually better than the Google Play games for PC, because in this, you can only download and play games, but in this, you can do almost anything because this is actually a Android emulator. Now, to use this first, we need to download this and install it. You can go to this website. You can download the stable edition or you can click on other downloads. It will take you to the bottom of the page and here you can actually download the beta version if you want to. Now, uh, if you have the Google Play games installed and you're wondering, can I install these side by side? Yes, no problem, but remember you cannot run them at the same time. So you can only use one thing at one time. Now, once you download and install it, it will look something like this. Pretty empty, actually. You'll see a Play Store and Chrome browser here. But if you swipe up, just like you do in your smartphone, uh, you'll see a couple of other apps like settings, uh, play games. Uh, I have actually installed a couple of other extra uh, applications just to test. Yeah, this is the official Android emulator from Google for PC. This is brilliant Android emulator. We'll do the more testing, but now let me show you guys uh, what Android version it's using. It's actually using the Android 12. Now there is no keys to control this like home button, back button or no, nothing like that. Actually you have to use control B and control H to control this. Control H stands for home. If you press it, it will take you to the home page. Uh, control B, uh, let me actually go deep, will take you back. Yeah. That's all you need to know to actually control this. This Android emulator is actually really unique uh, because most of the apps and games that you find in it are actually compatible and made for this. So for example, even the Google Play Store is made for this. Okay, there is a Google Play Store, but it's not a regular Play Store. Uh, it doesn't have all the games and apps that are available in the Play Store. This Play Store is only meant for this. So whatever games or apps are available for the Google Play games for PC will be available here and you can download them here. And we all know for now there are some limited games that are available. But guess what? You can actually install any game, any app. So you can see I have Aurora Store installed, I have Afroid. I have Nova Launcher installed. If you're a developer, I don't think I need to explain anything to you guys. But if you're not, don't worry. As I said, I'll show you guys the easy way to install any game or app into it. But it's uh, recommended to use this thing. Uh, the uh, manual guides how to use this and all the controls and everything. Whatever you need to know, you can visit this page and you'll know everything about it. So sadly, as of me making this video, the only way to install apps in this Android emulator is using ADB. But the good news is that you can use any ADB uh, app or a side loader app made for Windows 11, uh, the Windows subsystem for Android. If you search on Microsoft Store, you'll find many, many WSA side loaders. So basically these apps will provide you the user interface for ADB and it will be easy to use. So uh, just like me, if you want to use this tool, AOW tools, download this from the Microsoft store and then go to devices. And in here you can select the device, any Android device that is connected to your PC or Android emulator that is running. So make sure that Google's Android emulator is running and you have to look for this, VSOC Kiwi X 8664. So once you see this, just click on this circle and now it is selected. And you can also see the uh, info about this Android emulator. It's by the Google. This is the device name, the Android version and everything. Go to install option. Now you can add the downloaded APK file here or you can just do a drag and drop 
for example I'm gonna install this Facebook app here all right so you can see it is installed and here we have the Facebook okay I'm gonna open it and there we go the facebook is running successfully yeah i'm not gonna sign in so to install any game or app i recommend you guys to use this tool i always use this tool for wsa now for this one too because for now there is no other way to install apps into it all right even if you download like uh, third-party app stores like i have this uh, f-droid and let's say I want to install any app all right I'm just gonna try to install it you can see it gives me a error unknown apps can't be installed by this user so basically we can't install apk files normally even if we install third-party app stores now let's talk about the gaming because this simulator is meant for gaming and the game makers developers so the games that are available in the google play store are fully supported and they run really well with better graphics quality if you compare the graphics quality of this android emulator with other android emulators you're gonna be surprised the games and the gaming experience is just much better in this because all the games that are available for this are actually optimized for this and also for pc i forgot about the full screen you can actually press f11 and it will go to the full screen so i have two games that i have installed one is clash of clans and one is a free fire max i'm gonna run it just to show you guys the quality of this thing this this looks amazing so here look at this just amazing for a mobile game right this is not a busy game but look at this this is actually good all right while we are at it let's do one more test the cpu and ram testing it's a battle royale game so it's a pretty heavy game so you can see it's using only 20 to 25 percent of the cpu and this is actually pretty low compared to other android emulators yeah this is actually great yeah this runs really well i'm gonna go home let's run this game clash of clans this game was recently added to this and look at the graphics quality well i mean this is a touch and play game <laughs> but this is a huge game right i'm just playing the tutorial i don't know how to play this game no i'm kidding i used to play this game a lot <laughs> a lot back in the day but i'm too old now and this android emulator feels like fast all right really really fast and i think almost every app is compatible with this android emulator uh, even though this isn't meant to use as a android emulator but this thing is impressive if you compare it with other android emulators okay i'm not doing anything i'm gonna open the task manager and let's check out the cpu how much cpu it's taking zero zero <laughs> look at this zero cpu uh, all the cpu is actually being used by my obs studio screen recorder but other than that just look at this everything is just silent it takes resources only if you're using app or game i'm using facebook i'm not signed in but you can see there is like one or two percent of the cpu usage that's pretty impressive actually amazing yeah and one more thing i just want to say this out loud so we know we have the uh, windows subsystem for android and windows 11 that thing is heavy and resource hungry so in my opinion if you feel like uh, the windows subsystem for android isn't for you you want some like a lightweight android emulator where you can use uh, all the android apps and play some available games then this one is better and i think that's it for this one uh, yeah I, I forgot to mention one more thing oh this thing is still running in the background i mean there is so much to discover about this android emulator look at this we have been talking here for a while now and this thing is still running in the background without using resources now we are back into the game again obviously it's going to use resources this thing is amazing i'm just 
Wow, this thing is just wow. I'm just gonna close this out. Actually fully close this. I know even if it's running in the background, it's gonna use zero resources. It's that good. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this Android emulator? In my opinion, this thing is just amazing. Google should make this a official Android emulator for PC, you know, full-fledged Android emulator where you can install all the games and apps from Google Play Store so we don't have to use the ADB tools. That would be just amazing. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.